Aries, welcome to your Astro Flower reading. This is going to be a reading from the 16th through to the 22nd of January. I haven't been here for three weeks. I do apologize. Uh, I got a cold and lost my voice for two of those weeks. And um, so it's been a very quiet new year. I hope you had a good new year. Uh, welcome to it. You're fully on into your autumn period. It's time to start wishing. It's time to, it, to start looking at what you want to be doing next year from your birthday so as we move into this um uh winter period for you uh sorry autumn period for you it's an assessment of what you've done over the last year what you want to do going forward um you know uh, what you want to stop what you want to start you know all those sort of things and that could be anything to do with um emotional sort of side of life or physical side of life it's just um calibrating that and you've got that from now basically going right up to your birthday um two months before your birthday uh it's the moment when we tend to sort of concentrate on the physical side of life like jobs houses and that sort of thing um or physical activities uh and then in the last month that's much more emotional sort of what sort of experience do i want to have next year emotionally uh and then from your birthday that's it you're off and you're running that's a bit of the astro flower science basically um Let's just um, jump straight in here. We're going to be doing a tower reading to start with, and then we're going to be uh, finishing off with a chakras and aura reading at the end as well. So it will all be time stamped in the description below so you can move from one thing to another. Let's just see what's going on uh, with your overall energies uh, for this week. Uh, Aries. Communication is key. Uh, it seems to be that, yeah, I, you know, there you go. Three of uh, pentacles. It's good work. It's working with other people. You're going to feel like you're doing, you're really progressing this week. Um, the sun has been spilling out a lot of fire and air energy. So it's going to be good for you. You're going to feel invigorated at the moment. And you probably have felt invigorated over the last sort of two or three weeks. Um, and that's going to continue on. Uh, that's going to uh, transform itself into communication with others. And I think on both sides, actually, it could be networking on your financial side or um, communicating through relationships on your emotional sort of side. Let's just see what's going on. Sorry, there's a bit of love there. Um, let's see what's going on on uh, your relationship side. Now, this is the uh, karmic message on your relationship side. Uh, try, try things, try, um, yeah, try things, try being different with other people that are around you, your relationships that are around you, try to uh, communicate in different ways, uh, try new activities, try new ways of approaching your partner, uh, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, that cough is still sort of prevalent with me at the moment, um, yeah, try, I think it's exploring, Yeah, you got two threes here. You also had this card that wanted to come out as well, which is uh, the Seven of Swords. It's lying, cheating, and scheming. But I think I'm going to put it in there because within that communication, you can disarm a situation at the moment through this communication. <coughs> the Three of Pentacles is all about good work with other people. This is what you've got to concentrate on, on, on the world around you. It's good for... Um, you know, business, you know, new contracts and that sort of thing. Three of Wands is the Harbour Master. So it's basically uh, welcoming in ships, trading ships, and also making sure the trade from where you are is going out. So it's this, this communication, this interaction between two things when you're not really going anywhere because you're the Harbour Master. But there's loads of things going in and out all over the place. <coughs> so... I think with your communication, you have this ability this week to disarm situations and calm situations down. For the cough. Yeah, so um, that is your uh, that is what you've got to try out on your karmic mission this week. A little bit of a learning curve of trying this, trying that, and see how it fits with other people. How's the universe trying to influence you on this?
Okay, so harmony starts at home. So I would have, I would start this, and this is how the universe is trying to influence you here. I think the uh, universe is trying to sort of say, start this with your relation, your immediate relationships, your um, couple, <coughs> and let that bridge out gradually to your family and friends. Yeah, two of cups. <laughs> there you go. They, you know, they really want you to. Um, Explore the idea of um, uh, being a absolutely in love with your partner. Uh, if you're having difficulties with your partner, this could be a really good moment to change things, change the way we do things. And this is going to happen through communication. And as you change things and you do things differently, it's all of a sudden you're going to see the results. And I think you'll see the results very quickly. And then therefore you can then apply those results across the board to other relationships that you are in, like family, friends, community, and that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, I think this is a real learning curve for you this week. Nice it is, beautiful. And I think you're up for it. I think you're really going to enjoy it. Let's just see how the uh, guides are trying to influence this, um, this karmic message. <coughs> I do apologise about this cough. It's like a nice spring day. It's almost like your birthday. Uh, I think they're, they're reminiscing towards that. They're working towards your birthday season. And so much is happening in March. The beginning of March, it's going to tear up beautifully for your birthday season. So they're trying to create these situations where I was saying earlier on, where you're sorting the chaff on the wheat uh, from last year and going forward and setting new goals for new uh, going forward. Yeah, they want things to go a lot quicker. They're looking much further into the future. Um, it's being light, being open to opportunities. There's a lot of things coming in for you actually at the moment uh, in regards to um, in regards to your relationships. There's a you know there's new things happening for you, uh, and it's falling in love with who you are. Basically, uh, it looks really good. It's a very positive um, chariot, I think. Uh, I don't think there's any pressures. I just think that your guides here are sort of kind of like just taking everything on board, just bringing, really bringing everything towards you, which is really nice. Let's just see how it goes on uh, with the conversation that is within you, how your guides are influencing the conversation that is within you. It's like your best friend, your best buddy, your your best, yeah, your, your, your bestie, basically. They're kind of going, oh, look at that. Oh, what do they say there? And it's very light-hearted. It's really nice. And you can be so light-hearted, Aries. It's absolutely brilliant. When you've got things flowing, and there's nobody better. There's no much. You've got so much passion for life that it just overflows and it becomes infectious to other people, you know, about getting passionate about life. And here they're really sort of like being your besties. Now I think they're talking too good. They've got a lot of information coming in for you at the moment. <coughs> you know they're they're really trying to um they're really trying to put you in the position where um you know help you out within that communication within the relationships that are all about all around you and you're going to find the solutions will just go pop into your head and i think it's going to be really good for you let's just see what's going on on your financial sort of side say goodbyes to the sleepless nights and worries Okay, let's just see what's going on there. What's the karmic message? Wielding power doesn't necessarily mean um, having a stranglehold. You know, there's, there's many people who wielded power, such as... Uh, you know, Bob Marley wielded power. Um, Nelson Mandela wielded, you know, wielded amazing power. Gandhi had a huge amount of power. But they, you know, you, you wouldn't associate them with the iron rod of power. You know, it's much more of a, a power that's secure within yourself. And I think you should realize that, that you have that secureness of, you know who you are, you're the boss, you know, or you're the... You're in the position. You're in the right position. And I think it's um, 
rather than sort of kind of going, you, you know, got to do this, you got to do that. I think people would be surprised with you kind of going, oh, really? You think that? Well, how about we do this? What do you think? And asking what they think and stuff like that within your business, within your job and stuff like that. It's taking a leap of faith. I think here is actually looking at different ways in which you can uh, work well with other people. And it's trying out things this week. Oh, it's all about experimentation this week. It looks really nice. So <coughs> I think on the financial sort of side, that's your job and your business and stuff like that. Just try things a little bit differently. Um, and I think you'll get some good results. Let's just see um, how the universe is influencing this. They, you know, uh, lead with your heart. Apparently, your heart is really in a good position at the moment. Um, uh, it's yeah, it's 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 open to discussion. It's open to living life fully, uh, and the universe is trying to encourage you to live with that uh, heart going forward. Um, yeah, just remember where you've where you've come from. It's. Uh, it's like a sort of thing where you sort of kind of go, when, did, you know, when we were kids, we didn't care about anything. And it's a little bit of that sort of attitude here that needs to come back inside you in a way. You know, just remember what it was like being that little kid, starting off life. Yeah, we've learned a lot on the road. Uh, there's no doubt about it. But here is, um, you know, this is where you're going to be able to... Um, uh, reproduce those sort of harmonious and beautiful times in in your business and your career path because it will make you a lot happier in the in in the general scheme of things. Let's just see how the guides are trying to influence this karmic message. Okay, so. When I'm, you know, communicating with other people and opening your heart doesn't necessarily mean you have to accept what other people say. And I don't think the guides here will do that either. They're only going to accept truths and logic. Um, and I would trust in the communication or the, sorry, not the communication, the coincidences that are around you in your financial world at the moment, because they're going to bring you into the right direction. What did I say at the beginning? Say goodbye to that get say goodbye to that disappointment that you can have in other people because uh, you may have shown it before in the past um and now it's a case here where you just need to let go of that uh those past things uh i think uh which have you know in your financial world as you might have worked like 60 hours a week and you're not seeing and you didn't see the benefits from it and your guides here are not accepting uh, the woes and worries that go along with illogical thinking. Lead with your heart. Lead with your heart. I think it's really important here. Saying goodbye to those stress and strains and those sleepless nights and allow that one dove, that silver lining, to uh, overtake the rest and um, be your guiding uh, your guiding star, as it were. Let your heart shine, basically. Um, and I think it will come through. So don't get don't get dragged into situations which would be detrimental for you, basically. <coughs> Working well with other people is going to be very adv advantageous for you. Let's just see what the conversation is like within you. You know, when, when Aries... When that fire kicks in and they and they and that injustice happens, you don't like that. Uh and it's almost as if there's sometimes kind of like, you know, you could be working with someone that is just a little bit dipsy, a little bit stupid, and it would annoy you. It annoys you annoys you. And um and you know, you it's almost like the invoice sort of saying, and calm, don't get don't get stressed, that sort of thing. And I think you're gonna, I think you're gonna conquer that uh, in this. Yeah, you're gonna conquer those arguments. Strive to be who the best you are. This, as I said, I said, I think it's a bit of a learning curve this week for you. Uh, really nice one because the five of wands is a learning curve. It's um, it's learning uh, to um, control those fires within you 
Uh, it's learning conflict. That conflict doesn't have to necessarily be in one sense. That's what that playing smart is all about. It's disarming, um, disarming uh, the your uh, the army that is in front of you. So then the fight you don't have to fight them really. Um, and I think here is is very. Um, it's a good learning curve for you, especially with. Mercury in retrograde at the moment. Then we're going to go into Mars in retrograde. Then we go back into Mercury in retrograde. You know, I'd be a little bit wary about snapping. I would count to 10 before you sort of um, react sort of scenario. Breathe uh, before you uh, react, basically. Um, and just strive to be the best, the best person you are. Go back to that happiness of that kid. Lead with your heart and stuff like that. That's what the silver lining is here on this side. Now let's just see what the overall outcome is for you. <coughs> I think the overall outcome here is un unburdening yourself. Um, as you go into this autumn period and start realising what you've done last year, what you want to do differently and everything like that, sorting out new goals for the future. In order to do that, you have to unladen some things from you. And I think that's what it's going to be. I think you're going to spend a lot of time unladen <laughs> unladening a lot for you. Um, you know, getting rid of... Uh, Things that you're carrying that doesn't really serve you anything. Uh, you know, it's, it's yeah, unladening a lot of, you, you carry, you're carrying too much for other people, basically. And I think this, this week here of this communication and stuff like that is going to help you to realise, don't need to carry that anymore about that person or that situation or that job or this project or that business or these personal spiritual goals. You know, there's a lot of things where you just need to just sort of like, it's cool, it's okay. Um, you know, and you could cut that burden in half with that five of wands with just by having that bit of control over yourself and just l leave that fight for you, for your life. Okay, so there you go. Let's have a look at your um, chakras now. Thank you very much um, for those cards there and let's just go into your chakras and your aura as well i just need to recuperate the uh, the old throat so here we have the uh chakra man <coughs> <coughs> let's just go through here here we got his legs and there's the roots and chakras and then we go into the sacrum, solar plexus, heart, third eye and throat. And then we go into the crown. Right. Let's just see what's going on here now. Okay. Um, root chakra. There's a lot missing on the right hand side. So I think this is where the installation of fun and happiness or communication and being a little bit more relaxed about things, um, I think is going to be prevalent within your life. You've got to try it out before you can actually root that situation down. So on your left hand, on your right hand side here, uh, you've got less in the way of a root chakra going on. On the, on the uh, left hand side, you've got a lot more going on. Uh, it's not phenomenal either let's be honest here um so it's definitely as if like you're feeling very light at the moment and this is what this is discovering about a lot of things within your life the communication connecting with other people um and that left hand side has it's got a little bit more on the left hand side so you're going to it's all to do with money administration positioning and i think this is what you're going to be learning this week let's see what's going on in the sacrum Well, that's not too bad. It's pretty level. Um, there is still a lot more going on the left-hand side. That's sort of, I think that's to do with your root and your crown chakra because your root and the crown chakra is the same chakra. They're not two different chakras. They're both 
tied to each other. Uh, one is the front, one is the back. Which you choose whichever which way you want to look at it. Um, and the influence on the um, sacrum, which is a personal chakra, which is a horizontal chakra. This is all to do with the right and hand, right hand and left hand rules of electromagnetism. Um, so you know uh, your crown and your root is that vertical energy, and now we're going into the horizontal energies. I do this all on my workshops. Uh, if you want to be part of the workshops. You're more than welcome to send me an email and I'll send you a list when the next workshop is coming up, if it's in your area or not. But um, So you're missing a little bit on the sacrum on the right-hand side. So this is where this fun aspect is. It's not too bad at all, really, um, Aries. Uh, <coughs> it's actually quite good. So, <clears throat> you know, you're missing a little bit. So there's a little bit more sort of fun that needs to be had here. Let's just have a look what's going on on your your solar plexus is really large. It's like this lovely roaring fire that's welcoming everybody into the big hall of your life. So it's a very social sort of thing. It's very welcoming, warming. It's not aggressive. It's very loving. It's very nurturing. Uh, it's yeah. It's that big half. A uh, big fire that everyone can gather around and sing songs in the winter period, um, sort of scenario. And here's your heart. Well, your heart is really supercharged. Um, uh, when the when the when the solar plexus, because the heart and the solar plexus work in tandem as much as the third eye and the throat chakra and the sacrum work in tandem, as the solar plexus just sort of like opens up and just relaxes that allows your heart to just just swell in a way so there's a lot of emotions in the heart at the moment the that following the heart which we saw on the ace of hearts there um, obviously that can turn into um, negative side of things as well you know like jealousy and envy and anger and frustration and stuff like that and that comes from the heart as well but I don't think this is the case for you. I think this is a case of you want to taste everything according to the heart and see what works, really, basically. So it's a very large and, in, and developed heart, which is really nice. Um, uh, but it needs to be activated. That's the thing. It needs to be used. You have all that water coming through you, um, which comes in through Pisces. So there's a lot of emotions. That's what's filling the heart. Uh, and Pisces with Pisces energy, they want to try this, they want to try that, they want to try different things. And I think that's sort of feeding into your life at the moment, which we could see, um, <coughs> which we could see, which we were talking about within the relationships and communication. And communicating from your heart is really important. Let's just see what's going on on your third eye and your throat chakra. Well, that's in nice harmony as well. That's nicely balanced. The. Um, the uh, third eye is slightly in front of the throat chakra, which is a very normal, stable position, very similar to what's going on in the sacrum as well. Um, so, yeah, it's a very mentally you should be in a good state at the moment. You may feel that you're in a good place and strong mentally. And let's just see what's going on. OK, so this is where you're carrying too much. Your crown chakra is way too big. And not big in a good sense. It's too large, basically. So it's capturing everything. It's carrying everything. So um, you may have been, you know, and I think this is what we saw with the um, Ten of Wands. I'll get there in a minute. With the Ten of Wands, I think this needs to be streamlined a little bit. I think you need to do the experience this week of uh, communication and exploring different avenues to come, uh, you know, to connect with other people that are around you. Once you realize that, that's going to increase your root chakra, which is going to pull on your crown chakra, which is going to make it go and a much more sort of concise position at the moment. But you may feel like, you know, you're listening to everything, you're hearing everything, you're feeling everything. Everything's coming in at the moment. And it, it may be a ladening of um, your shoulders this week. But I think that's temporary because you're working out what you want. Um, so if you just, just to help you in this sort of situation, if you just relax whilst watching, uh, this, um, 
this reading. So I'll just let you to relax in your chair. That's lovely. And what we're going to do is, with that cord that I was telling you about that goes from the crown to the root, because it's the same one, we're just going to bring just a little bit of distribution of energy from the crown chakra, and we're just going to transfer it, taking a little bit from the heart as we go through. So that can then feed into your sacrum a little bit more so you can enjoy life a little bit more on that experimentation and allow that to seep into the root chakras so then as you learn uh, or understand things this week uh, you can put them into concrete evident ways of being in your life okay so there you go just allow that energy to go through and there perfect Okay, let's have a quick look at your aura. Okay, it's like, a, you know, the aura is a little bit like, a <coughs> <coughs> like the cosmic egg, as ever everyone says. But it's like, you know how the egg has got slightly one point pointed? And that point is coming down here, which is nice, but it is a little bit top heavy. Um, so I would, um, if you do do meditation and stuff like that, I would do meditation, which encourages, uh, grounding, uh, within you. It'll help you to focalize your solar plexus a little bit more and get that little bit more sort of passionate and, and pushing a little bit, be a little bit wary of it. And this is where the heart comes into it, uh, where you can lead with your heart. So you don't get carried away and get caught up in conflicts, um, which we can see on, uh, with the five of wands. Don't get caught in conflicts. This is going to help you with that meditation to have that count to 10 moment before you react. Um, and that's going to help you out to feel a lot more stable and steady and open to the exchange of the world around you. Um, which I think is going to be really important for you uh, coming over these next two months as you lead, uh, two or three months as we lead up to your birthday period. Okay. Um, so yeah, there you go. Lovely reading, uh, Aries. Thank you very much for being here. I have opened up um, five uh, appointments uh, per week uh, through the YouTube channel. So you can only get it through the YouTube channel uh, for either for readings or for healing sessions. Uh, and I've got that available once a week now for the going next two months. You will find a link in the description below. We'll see how it goes and see whether I keep that feature going on uh, in the future. In the meantime, Aries... Thank you very much for being here. Don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.